here's a quick preview of what the new theming experience looks like. So we can see on the right, I've implemented a simple color system using custom tokens. I could add an additional token here. Maybe we want to make yellow 300 and set that to a particular value. I can then, of course, consume these tokens in my components as I'm customizing them. And I can customize these things individually. So for example, we could change the check background of this single switch group. Or maybe we want to say for you know, all of these components, all of the radios and checkboxes, we want to have a consistent check background. And we'll use our purple 400 variable. So every single retool component can be customized in this experience. And this is also where we're going to allow a lot more customization on uh, component-specific typography. The last thing I want to talk about is stacks. So in this app, we have a container with three buttons inside of it. And we've all probably had the experience of dragging and dropping Retools components to a particular position on the canvas in order to define our layouts. Stacks give us a different way to do this. So if we select this container, we can change the layout from a grid to a stack. Once it's a stack, the stack gives us controls. So we can set the direction, for example, so that it flows down. We can modify the justification to center or right align. And we can modify the alignment as well. So these are all Flexbox-like controls that you're probably familiar with. The individual elements within the stack also now have height and width controls. So for example, we might want to say that this button fills the remaining space inside this stack. Or perhaps we can set it to a specific fixed width. Stacks allow us to create much more complex but consistent UIs. And they're not constrained by the coarseness of Retool's grid. They also allow elements to reflow much more naturally, as we would expect when we're building on the web. I think stacks are going to be a step change in the types of layouts and UIs that we can build inside of Retool. And we're extremely excited to launch them soon.